Well, hello. Yep, it's me. It's little, little old me, Dr. Lane Jeffries, and welcome to CoStar. Our CoStar guest today is from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Though his family were immigrants from Italy, you may remember his work from Clive of India, or Picture Mommy Dead, or the feature film, What If There Was A War And Nobody Came? No? 1970 ring a bell? Perhaps this will help. Cocoon, the feature film Cocoon, for which he won the Academy Award for his supporting role. Yes, you guessed it. Today's co-star is Donna Michi. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Lane Jeffries, and Donna Michi, the doctor, will see you now. Mr. Don Amici, in scenes written especially for you. Our next scene is from Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest. It is set in Victorian England and involves two very stylish young men. Mr. Amici plays one of the gentlemen, Algernon. You play the other, Jack. While the most important subject should be your respective love interests, a plate of muffins seems to be of greater concern to both of you, especially Algernon, who eats throughout the scene. He speaks first. Jack, can't you understand? I simply wanted to be engaged to Cecily. I adore her. Well, I simply wanted to be engaged to Gwendolyn. I love her. You know, Algy, there's not much chance of your marrying Miss Cardew. I don't think there's much likelihood, Jack, of you and your Miss Fairfax being united to either. Well, that is certainly none of your business. If it was my business, I wouldn't talk about it. Very vulgar to talk about one's business. Only people like stockbrokers do that, and then merely at dinner parties. How can you sit there calmly eating muffins when we're in this horrible mess? You seem to me to be perfectly heartless. Well, I can't eat muffins in an agitated manner. The butter would probably get in my cups. One should always eat muffins calmly. It is the only way to eat them. I say it is perfectly heartless you're eating muffins at all, under the circumstances. When I am in trouble, eating is the only thing that consoles me. Indeed, when I am in really great trouble, as anyone who knows me intimately would tell you, I refuse everything except food and drink. At the present moment, I'm eating muffins because I'm unhappy. Besides, I'm particularly fond of muffins. <laughs> well... That is no reason you should eat them all in that greedy manner. You might leave some for I me. I would have tea cake instead. I don't like tea cake. Good heavens, I suppose a man can eat his own muffins in his own garden. But you have just said it was perfectly heartless to eat muffins. I said it was perfectly heartless of you to eat muffins under the circumstances. That is a very different thing. That may be, but the muffins are the same. I think I'll have another. Oh, Algy, I wish to goodness you would go. You can't possibly ask me to go without having dinner. It's absurd. I never go without dinner. No one ever does, except vegetarians and people like that. Besides, I have just made arrangements with the Reverend Chausable to be christened at a quarter to six under the name of Ernest. Oh, it, no, it's nonsense, nonsense. All you're talking is nonsense. Jack, you're at the muffins again. I wish you wouldn't. <sighs> there are only two left. <sighs> I told you I was particularly fond of muffins. But I hate tea cake. Why on earth then do you allow tea cake to be served up for your guests? What ideas you have of hospitality? Algernon, I have already told you to go home. I wish you would leave. I haven't finished my tea yet and there is still one muffin left. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you. 